And folks, we got another mango bandit, but this time he's way up in the tree. I don't know if you can see this villain. This dude is up in the tree, just cleaning it out. He didn't show up with a pole. He just said, fuck it, he's climbing up there, taking everything. Force so G's got his new shoes on. Well, folks, I want to show you guys what Janice has prepared for me this morning. She's made some pork with uh, vegetables, and I'm not sure what kind of sauce she put in here. Okay, so she put a little bit of the barbecue sauce, that uh, the local brand of barbecue sauce. But folks, I have two pork sandwiches. I mean, fresh homemade French fries. I've got fresh bread from Bingo's Bakery. I don't know if the lighting is gonna do this justice, but oh my goodness. I'm talking about I have got a delicious meal today with uh, foreign guy flavors, french fries, ketchup, two pork sandwiches. I'm not sure what they're making themselves eat, but I certain, certainly appreciate it. Shout out to the ladies for, for making me a foreign guy meal today, taking into consideration my taste buds. Ladies, I certainly appreciate you. Thank you, ladies. You want Coke? Yeah, I'll take a little Coke to go with it, baby. So we got Janice in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. beautiful, <laughs> beautiful <laughs> Janet. Yeah, the kitchen's messy, folks. We're trying to clean stuff out, organize, rearrange. Basically, all this, all this mess right here is our kitchen equipment. We're just separating it to see what we have, and what belongs to the uh, resort here. Janice looking beautiful this morning. Aw, oh, thank you very much, Dawn. Thank you. Wake up. He's watching a little Sesame Street this morning, but he hasn't really warmed up to Sesame Street yet. But he's seen like every Coco Melon episode, every Dave and Ava episode. So it's time for this dude to change up his programming. He's been looking at his books more lately. I'm trying to see if he'll watch some Sesame Street. It's just not what he's used to. So, so excited about chowing down on this french fries and pork sandwich. Even got me a nice Coke in a wine glass. I got the ladies over here reading y'all's comments. Thank you for your comments and subscribe our channel then. There you go. <laughs> Thanks for the comments. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks yeah, for these ladies. comment, the ugly comment, and subscribe. Yeah, these, these ladies are hooked on your comments. They're like just scrolling. Before they were watching this Filipino Tagalog comedy stuff, what have you. And now they're just hooked on reading your comments. <laughs> That's funny, their reactions. Hmm. Homemade fries, <laughs> courtesy of Jens. Look at that sandwich right there. Oh my goodness. Here's my, uh, it's a banana flavor. Looks, it's like the thickness of about a milkshake. 
Give me a glass of water to chase it down with. <laughs> ah. I don't, I don't want to drink well, it, it was better to put it in here and shoot it at one time because there were so many droppers, I was afraid I was going to lose count. <laughs> yeah. I have no bulate. Yeah, here in the Philippines, they call it what? Bulate, right? Bulate, snake. Small if snake. you pick up roundworms, ascaris, it's like having a little small... It's not a snake, it's more like a, it's like a long ass earthworm that you go fishing with, you know, in your intestines. Do your own research, folks, but this is serious. All right, here we go down the hatch. Should get a beer to chase it down with. Put a water in the glass. Baby. Yeah, so I got to get the... <laughs> it's actually not bad. It's banana flavored. It ain't bad at all, really. <sighs> all right. I'm almost finished. Who's next? Ladies, listen. If you don't take your medicine, okay? You've been swimming in the bay. Do you know how many shit rivers run into Subic Bay? We were discussing this the other day. Most any bay around the metropolitan area, the rivers that run into it are, are nothing but shit. You've been swimming out there every day. Folks, you see what I'm up against here? I guess I might just take you ladies to the to the hospital then. Yeah. Injection. Get an injection. Ew. Ooh. Uh. Down the hatch, my friends. So, what happens is once once you take the medication, the it's going to take between <laughs> one and three days if you have these worms for your body to start expelling them. So if there's worms in my body, they're coming out of something. Either my mouth, my nose, or my asshole. Alright. I mean they're coming out somehow. They're coming out either dead or alive. What? This is this is this is the Philippines. This is a fact of life. Okay, nobody wants to talk about things like this, alright? All you see is like palm trees and Beautiful water and all these tropic areas. Nobody tells you about tropical medicine in the wrists. There you go, folks. There's your block of instruction. Talk to your doctor about roundworms if you've ever traveled to a tropical area, especially the Philippines, India, um, where there's uh, less than sanitary sewer conditions. Talk to them about it.